Blood clotting is a vital process and we would die if we couldn't do this properly, which is why we must be careful when buying enzymes that can break down clots. But more about these enzymes at the end of the video. I'm Sarah and I'm a biochemist, so let's look at clots from an educational point of view. What blood tests you can get to see if you're more likely to have one and what can you do? Some clotal thrombosis risks include high triglycerides, low HDL, high estrogen, high blood sugar, and certain pharmaceuticals. First and foremost, change your way of eating if you've got high triglycerides, high blood sugar, and low HDL, because what you're doing isn't working for you. Next, we have something called natokinase, which has been used to break down clots in the body. And this study here, interestingly, shows that the enzyme natokinase may be effective in breaking down the spike protein. Lumbrokinase dissolves fibrin and it's used to break down clots, like in this study here on strokes. Lumbrokinase has a low hemorrhage risk and a lot of people prefer lumbrokinase over natokinase. You shouldn't use these enzymes if your blood doesn't clot properly or if you're on blood thinners, and especially after surgery when you're supposed to be healing. But obviously, speak to your healthcare practitioner first. Let me know in the comments what you think about clots.